Morning YouTube. So, next update in the laser cutter. Um, I felt like crap the last few days, so I haven't made a huge amount of progress. But, um, a few key things have moved on. So, one in particular, I've um, got some very basic code working, uh, which allows me to take an SVG file, convert it to G code, and then plonk that on the printer. Um, and more importantly, I've re implemented some code that processes Bezier curves on the Marlin firmware, uh, which I wrote a couple of years ago. So, that means um, from SVG, it's very simple. You can translate the straight cubic Beziers in SVG to G5 commands, as they are on this, um, and it will process them directly. So let me show an example of that um, running a test print. It's kind of hard to see, um, but this is tracing the outlines of a reasonably complex little print, uh, 100 mil in diameter. No path optimization as yet, it's kind of annoying, so it means little cutouts it does in a very silly order and waste loads of travel time, so I will have a look at an algorithm to improve that. But otherwise, running rather nicely. Um, at this speed, there is quite a lot of vibration. Hopefully you can see the, uh, the machine wobbling all over the place, mainly because it's sat on my crappy dining table. Um, at some point I'm going to build a decent solid base for this with some caster wheels. The lockable ones. Um, for now the wobbling is not too bad and certainly the machine seems to be taking the vibration pretty well without anything coming loose or rattling or falling apart. Um, while that's running I've been having fun uh, calibrating the optics as fine as I can get them ready to fit the laser tube. Um, one of the tweaks I've made is I've added little collars um, which are currently around the dummy tube. Those will go around the, the glass tube to protect it um, from the pressure points from the nylon screws. Um, the other bits I'm doing is so the water cooling pumps arrived, so here we go. Um, that's installed. I've got the air compressor pump, which is just an aquarium pump uh, to run the air assist for the nozzle. Um, I think in a future version I'd give myself a little bit more space down the sides here because it's getting a bit cramped. It does all fit, but it is tight. Um, and the routing path for the airline is kind of annoying. It needs to go up the back, all the way along the back, along until it can join the cable chain to come across onto the X carriage, and then back again along to the head, which is a rather long way. Um, makes the routing along the back here a bit cramped. Um, in terms of the water cooling, I've also decided to put a fill port in, so it's nice and easy to top up and remove air bubbles. Um, that's going to be wide into the motor and the radiator down here. The radiator will then run a loop up and through the laser tube. Um, that's on the list for today to wire in or connect in. Uh, cooling fans over here are working. They're currently driven by an extension to the Marlin firmware. Um, it's ready to do a PID loop um, using one of the temperature, temperature inputs um, to read ambient, one to read the inlet temperature on the laser and the other to read the outlet temperature. Get that running hopefully as well. Um, Z drive still not wired but I've at least mounted the, um, the little driver unit into the frame. Um, I've decided I'm going to re-lay out these electronics once the cladding's in and kind of sight them vertically so it's getting a bit cramped again. Um, what else is going on? That's probably it for now. Um, oh yes, the bed honeycomb. I need to extract that out which should be interesting. Looks fairly straightforward but I need a big area to do it. Hopefully a bit later on. Um, doubt it'll be today but hopefully tomorrow we'll have some cutting.